Probably a good thing we could edit the footage, but it was a really good night. And really celebrating a year, uh, a year of successes, a year of hard work, a year of changing markets, uh, and really, you know, the people that have made it all happen, uh, very proud, really good to look around the room. And part of the people in the room, and one of the persons, I guess, that uh, was the highlight of the night and the star of the night is Kay Morris. And Kay's with us now in the studio. Kay, how does Hi. it feel? Feels fantastic. It was a, a really big year and a real surprise to have actually come out with that award. So now, great. Yeah, now Kay Morris has been a star in our business for a very long time and I want to hear your history, starting from, because I know what the answer is, where you were born. So give us a rundown. Well, I was one of those people who was actually made in Japan. Mm. So came out to Australia when I was one month old uh, by ship um, and um, yeah, went to school, um, went to university, went to Torrance CA where I got a Bachelor of Design and uh, a diploma in teaching and then started um, my career in teaching. I taught for 13 years, so which was quite and, a long time. And what sort of teacher were you? I was a hard work teacher. <laughs> I drove my students. I actually really, really loved teaching and was actually really sad to, to leave it, but really happy to get into real estate because I think I took to it like duck to water. So, I mean, I, I know, um, you know, how, you know, we, we worked together for a long time, um, how tough you can be, yeah. um, but in a lovely way. So tell me about the kids. Did you line up? You oh, well, my last year of teaching, I had year nines. Year nines are always the hardest group at school because they've, they've finished year eight and just below that senior year. I used to have my year nines lined up in two lines quietly before they came into the classroom. They'd then make some noise and sit down and shuffle some paper um, and I'd get the roll ready and the, um, the uh, newsletter that I had to read out and I'd stand up and then they'd all start nudging each other to be quiet and listen to what I was saying. So I had them pretty well organised, yeah. So if you're a client of Kay's, you just be aware because she'll get you <laughs> organised, right? In fact, you do get people organised, but before we get to that, uh, tell me about Kay from teaching, how did you end up in real estate? Okay, in the mid-80s, around 1985, they were sending teachers off to the country for 10 years and I, I'm just not a country girl. I like hey, what's wrong with the country? <laughs> Nothing wrong with the, the country at all. Love the country to visit, um, but I uh, didn't want to live, you know, at Kangaroo Flat for 10 years teaching. So I thought, what do I love? And I'd always had a bit of a passion for houses. I bought my first house, my first year out of, um, out, out of uh, university, uh, bought my first property a year later, turned over, doubled my money, which I thought was just Christmas. And uh, two years later, turned that one over, doubled my money again, and it was all tax free. So I just love property. And the fact that you could do well out of property and the government didn't tax us for it, which was <laughs> nice, <laughs> one of those areas. But um, yeah, so I tried real estate. I took a, a year's leave without pay and tried real estate and just loved it. Started off with a company called John Charles and Associates. So you slept with the boss? Yeah, I did actually. A <laughs> <laughs> bit sad, but well, you better I explain to everyone. You better explain to everyone yeah, that he is my husband now. Char yeah. Charles Clementi. Charles Clementi. Charles Clementi, yeah. lovely man, and he's so supportive of me in this um, industry. And you need to have a supportive partner if um, it, because it's hard work. It's long hours. Um, so he's a very supportive, understanding husband. Um, so I was with uh, John Charles and Associates um, during the, the late 80s, during that depression or recession we had yep. to have. And then um, we closed the doors there and I went to work for uh, professionals at Unley and loved it there working with Michelle Alexandro. She's, um, she was great to work with. Lovely lady. Um, and then I went off and had babies. I had two babies, my daughter who is just gorgeous, Cara, and my son who is also a gorgeous boy, Anthony. Yeah, yeah. and I'll vouch for that. You must be doing something pretty right. Yeah, well, I, real estate's hard and you just have to, when you've got the time to spend with the children, so you line them quality up. time, <laughs> yeah, line them up like ducks. Okay, yeah. now you joined us 15 years ago Yeah. Um, and you've been doing exceptionally well pretty much for all that time. Yeah. How, how is it that you can do as well as you've done and you've been in the business for as long as you have, is it maybe the experience or how do you keep the energy level up? 
Oh, I just love it. I love people. I've, you know, that's my passion, I think, uh, people and helping people and trying to achieve a really good outcome for them. I try and treat them as I treat myself. Um, so I have a lot of respect for whoever I work with. Um, and that's not only, um, you know, when I'm selling a house, but also the people I work for at, at work from the, you know, person who's at reception. I, every person is an important part of what you do. So, um, and I'm enthusiastic about what I do. I love what I do and I try and bring that into my work environment, whether it's out, you know, sort of listing or selling a property or working in the office. Okay, we've got more questions for you. I want, I want to get to some tips shortly, but in the meantime, let's go to going, going, gone.